Hi guys, uh, this is Mike and Aran from Practical Physio Seminars and I want to talk a little bit about uh, the use of the inner ear model, uh, the flow, the endolymph flow and the otoliths in the semicircular canals when somebody has a benign positional proxismal vertigo attack. So when you have a vertigo attack, essentially what happened is um, microscopic crystals called autoconia are dislodged from the utricle and flow into one of the semicircular canals. Uh, what this model uh, shows is a good um, explanation or a good simulation of the dynamic of the flow of the otoconia inside the semicircular canals. We have the horizontal canal, we have the posterior canal, and the anterior canal. You're looking at the left ear from a lateral perspective, and uh, this is working very well for explaining to patients exactly what's happening. So if we are looking at the uh, posterior canal right here, when a person is seated upright, um, the um, otoliths collect in the lowest part of the canal right here. Well, that's when the otoliths are dislodged from the utricle and are already in the canal. What happens if the person is ending up lying on their back, okay, nose pointing up towards the ceiling, the gravity pull on the otoliths will bring all the otoliths from here down to the lowest part of the canal in this position. Okay, so as long as the, these otoliths are flowing through the endolymph, they create a wave of movement. That wave of movement is displacing the nerve endings uh, in the ampulla, in the inner ear, and that sends a signal to the brain telling us the head is moving, when clearly the person is just lying on their back without moving their head. That, um, that sensory uh, response is what's creating the sense of spinning sensation that people talk about as vertigo or dizziness. Um, once the crystals settle all the way at the bottom, at the lowest part of the canal, they stop moving because they don't have any other place to move to. Gravity pulls them down um, and then that sensation stops. When the person sits back up again, now the lowest part of the canal is not here, but here, and again we will have movement of the otoliths into the lowest part of the canal, and again a sensation of vertigo. Uh, we can use this model to show the flow of the otoconia and the uh, flow of the movement in the different positions that people assume, whether it is lying on their back or seated upright or standing or bending down, nose down. And the patient can very easily see the flow of the otoconia that is simulated here by the sand inside the similar, the, um, the canals. Um, usually that creates a lot of a better understanding of what's happening. And if you watch our other videos with the Zoom, you'll be able to see the flow of the crystals inside the canal as well. Thanks for watching the video and uh, look at the, the rest of our, uh, the video on our channel. Take care.